I'm a big fan of Stania locomotives, Black Fives in particular. I've always fancied a Black Five, one of the named four, and in 2007 Hornby did some, namely Ayrshire Yeomanry and Glasgow Highlander. I managed to pick up a good example from eBay for not too much and decided that I would do a few modifications to it. In addition, I was going to fit a TTS sound decoder and a headlight and firebox flicker and needed a little bit of extra space to put everything. So I decided to relocate the 8-pin socket to the tender as shown in their later sound fitted black fives that they did. Having removed the body, I removed all the wiring and retained the 8-pin socket and stripped the chassis right down to its bare metal block. And you can see where I've machined out the back of the chassis and made two holes in order to pass the wires through in silicon sleeving. And replaced the standard drawbar with a fixed link made out of some brass and threaded the two silicon tubes through into the tender and fabricated a temporary cable clamp out of some ABS to hold them in place. I slid the seven wires through, two for the motor, two for the pickups and three for the lighting. And as you can see I've taken out the rear motor mount and softened the corners on it. I made a second uh, mounting for the speaker to hold the rear of it into which I incorporated the standard Hornby mounting bracket. Here's both the brackets and the housing for the speaker ready to be fitted into the chassis. Front bracket fitted, rear bracket fitted and wires fed through the new mounting ready to be soldered into the decoder plate. And the 8-pin socket I unsoldered each of the terminals and reversed it so that the uh, contact plates were on the top. This was so I could pass the wires up from underneath, solder them neatly and then trim off any excess. At the local end of the wires I ran them up the back of the motor, across the top and taped them neatly in place, connected the correct ones to each pole of the motor and, and then connected the other wires to their lighting LEDs, white to the headlamp, blue common power supply, green to the firebox. And fitted a 3mm flicker LED. Before fitting the sound decoder, I quickly tested it on my little homemade decoder tester station. When fitting the speaker into its enclosure, I always make sure that you don't trap any of the wires because the edge of the speaker is metal and it will just short it out and blow the chip. With the loco all reassembled, I fitted a crew in the cab. I painted the inside of the coal area to represent it, a bit of rust and a little bit of coal on his shovel and some coal on the front edge of the tender where he's shoveling it from and then stuck it on the rolling road to weather it a bit more in a slightly unorthodox manner of running the locomotive and spraying it as it's running. I find this works quite well because you get an even paint spray over all of the connecting rods as they move backwards and forwards so there's no masking of any component by another component. Plus I also wipe off a little bit of paint off the numbers because I don't want it too heavily over there because they used to clean the numbers and the dirt off so that they were reasonably legible. I didn't really weather this locomotive too much because I've seen pictures of it in the 19, late 1960s and it was reasonably clean still. And lastly, I filled the tender with real crushed coal and added some spilt ashes under the smoke box door. And finally, let's test the finished locomotive on the rolling road.
let's get rolling. Overall, it's still a superb model with a good level of detail for a 14 year old model and I'm sure Hornby will give it a makeover soon. The downside to that being it'll then cost 200 quid and not 70 quid from eBay. But I do like it and I do like black fives. So much so, I bought this one to play with in the garden. Thanks for watching and comment, like, share and subscribe. Bye for now.